We found important information that the Federal Reserve is getting ready to accept XRP around the world, which is in line with the ISO 4217 standard. It's not just a guess that led to this discovery. It's written down in a formal report, which I was able to get thanks to the hard work of a dedicated independent investigator. Even though the news isn't covering it extensively, you can be sure that big things are happening behind the scenes. Together, Ripple and the U.S. are working on central bank digital currencies called CBDCs. At the same time, the SEC and Congress are trying to solve problems with special drawing rights, SDRs, and liquidity. Finally, Japan's top banks are starting to use XRP for foreign payments. All of these things are happening at a very important time. There are. Also hints that XRP's value could skyrocket to an unbelievable $10,000 per unit. This would mean that we're on the verge of a major financial change, but this is just the beginning. Today's show is full of the newest news, which we'll talk about in detail and make sure you can see all the facts. You can find out everything you need to know about XRP on Money Side. Click the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to become a part of our group. Then we can talk about today's exciting news. Also, we're excited to tell you about a great XRP gift. It's easy to get in just three simple steps. Make sure you do what you say you will do. Don't forget to place a hashtag for Money Side in the comments to collect your prize. In a moment, I'll talk about why big banks are betting that XRP's value will hit new highs. It has everything to do with the Federal Reserve's upcoming big move to adopt XRP. Let's get right to the point of this morning's subject. What is the world's bridge currency? Type it into Google, or even better, try what people are calling Google Bard. XRP is the answer that everyone gives, but the name isn't the only important thing. The ISO number is what makes it unique. XRP has been given the ISO 4217 name, which makes it more than just a digital asset. It gives it a unique identity that takes it to a whole new level. Let's look into this more. Now look at the second. 4217, each currency in the world has a three-letter code. This is a huge step forward that makes XRP a true global currency that can easily work with all ISO-compliant currencies, such as the euro, pound sterling, US dollar, yen, and others. When we go straight to the source to check, the journey becomes really interesting. I use the Federal Reserve's official resources and the hard work of our study team to find proof that can't be argued with. We found something very important on the Federal Reserve's own website, even though it's in the complicated world of digital banking. Without a doubt, the website makes it clear that every currency from the USD to the yen is identified by a three-letter ISO 4217 code. Also, which cryptocurrency is in this elite group? XRP is clearly named among them. That's it. There is clear proof right in front of us. This isn't just a guess. It's a statement from the Federal Reserve, which is a well-known symbol of financial power. The website was last changed on October 24, 2023. It's interesting that this update came out just one day after the U.S. ended its lawsuit against Ripple and the U.S. Congress made it clear that financial companies could use XRP in their work. This series of events is not a coincidence. It's a carefully planned story of how new ideas in finance are changing things right in front of us. When people talk about the possibility of XRP hitting $10,000, this prediction stops being based on speculation and starts being based on the amount of transactions that are expected to happen around the world using the XRP ledger. Given that deals involving quadrillions of dollars are possible, a $10,000 value for XRP not only seems reasonable, but also very cost-effective. To get a bigger picture, it's important to see that ripples. Relationships are important for more than just working together. It's about strong trust from financial institutions like Uphold, which is in a unique situation as it holds over 1 billion XRP. To give you an idea, Uphold's investment in XRP, which is worth more than $1.28 billion, is 740% bigger than its stakes in other cryptocurrencies. The banking industry needs a digital asset that can handle the huge demands of global finance, which is why they are investing so much in XRP. If banks are ready to use XRP in high-value transactions, then a price tag of $10,000 per unit is not just wishful thought, but the start of a revolutionary change in how money works. People are talking more and more about how XRP could go up to $10,000 soon. This is because it is expected to play a big role in central bank digital currencies. The Federal Reserve has given its approval to this idea, pointing out that XRP can be used anywhere in the world according to the ISO 4217 standard and that it will be used for the first time in the U.S. by the end of 2024. More and more proof shows how far this evolution has gone, but today's talk goes beyond price predictions to show how huge of an opportunity a deal could be. In the talks between the SEC and Ripple Labs, the key to ending a long legal fight lies in this possible settlement, and if it goes through, it could cause a big rise in the value of XRP as its uses grow.
These changes aren't just hints they're happening. We are ready to share the specific papers and proofs that relate to this settlement offer we made to the CEO of Ripple Labs which could be approved at any time. In the past, settlement proposals were very important, especially after Judge Torres set a deadline of November 9th, 2023. For a non-litigious deal, this date put a lot of stress on everyone involved, which is why the SEC called an emergency meeting to talk about everything from institutional settlements to ending the lawsuits. The SEC then made an amazing settlement offer to Ripple Labs worth $770 million with the goal of ending the case. But Ripple showed how strong they were by turning down this offer. The story about XRP has changed a lot. And President Joe Biden's willingness to sign an executive order that could have a huge impact on XRP and other cryptocurrencies has also changed the story. After this happened, Ripple Labs got a second. Payment offer for $20 million, which was much less than the first one. Crypto law expert John Deaton says it's likely that Ripple will agree to this lower settlement, which could mean the end of their court battle with the SEC. This order from the president is just the start of our deep look today. We're going to talk about the details of how XRP might reach the much talked about $10,000 mark. We'll also look at the recent rise in XRP's market activity, which is an amazing 10% rise in just 24 hours after President Biden's important executive order. This speeding up and raising of the stakes show that the order wants to help the Federal Reserve use XRP around the world in line with ISO 4217. A conclusion backed up by separate studies. Soon after this order, a settlement offer came up, urging Ripple Labs to agree and end their court battle with the SEC for good. The suggested settlement for Ripple includes a fee of $20 million to end the lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC for good. When you consider that Ripple's CEO talked about U.S. banks' desire to use XRP after their court battles with the SEC, this situation is truly groundbreaking. If they win the case completely, it could mean that the Federal Reserve changes how it plans to use XRP, which could lead to a lot more transactions going through the XRP ledger. Today's conversation is more than just guesswork. It looks at XRP's place in the global financial system in a way that is concrete and changes quickly. Do not forget that I am not a professional financial advisor. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new.